Hey, y'all, and thank y'all for tuning in. Now, if this is your first time, welcome. Now, if you've been here before, welcome back. Can't you hear the smile in my voice, y'all? That's because we're going over the ultimate turkey club sandwich recipe. And this recipe is for sandwich lovers. On this channel, the food is always the star. Y'all about ready to go? All right, we're going to work with this red onion. First things first, though, index finger, thumb, Roll the other three fingers around the handle. We're gonna watch our knuckles on the index finger and thumbs. Let's rock. All right, we also have mushrooms, butter working, and we're gonna drop our onions in there. Favorite seasoning, light saute. This is how they came out. Next up, we got our steak tomato. We're gonna slice it, and we're gonna be careful using this serrated knife, y'all, but we're getting a good slice on them. How do they look? I like the way that look. Nice, slice. We can work with it round and round the avocado we go. Next, what do we have to do? We have to pit it, slice it, and what are we going to use? A spoon to scoop out those avocado slices. And then we're going to lay out bacon slices. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to take that bacon, cook it. And we're going to use that same sheet tray and foil the bacon was cooked on to put our turkey on. You can get this turkey at your local market. I don't have to tell y'all. Swiss and cheddar. Now, the bread is on y'all. I chose croissant, y'all. I was going to go with Texas toast, but I chose croissant. But the bread is on you, whatever bread you want to use, whatever your favorite is. Now, the sauce is special. It's a secret sauce. Go check out my patty melt video, y'all. When I made the ultimate patty melt, that is on there, y'all. Take a look at this sauce. You need to go check out that video. This sauce is fire. And I'm not talking about heat, y'all. I'm talking about it in good flavor, y'all. Next is the lettuce. Lettuce is important. Lettuce is always the foundation. And then the tomato or the onion or whatever is next, y'all. But you choose whatever lettuce you want to choose, y'all. You know, I chose romaine right here. If you like iceberg, whatever you like, you like, you like what you like. All right. We cool with that. But lettuce down first, then the tomato and whatever product you want to put up next. Because remember, we are building here. We are constructing a sandwich. This is the turkey out the oven with the Swiss cheese melted on top. Mm -hmm. Y'all take a look at that. That came out phenomenal. And this is something we all can do, and it's very affordable. Jason's Deli, this costs $9.95. Think about adding some sautéed mushrooms and onions on this if at your local deli, at your local delicatessen. $9.95 at Jason's Deli. And I know over here in Texas, a croissant turkey club sandwich is going to cost you anywhere from $12 up to $18. Then you're going to throw on your two slices of bacon, y'all. Now we're working to the next layer. We have another croissant. We're using the bottom croissant part with the sauce, and we're founding this again with the lettuce. It's important. We keep everything centered. You see how it's not wobbling? Everything is centered. And then we're throwing the tomato right there in the center. We're going to build it again. We're going with that turkey. And now we have cheddar cheese for contrast. We have Swiss on the bottom, cheddar on top, y'all, for the contrast. More mushrooms, more of the onions, more bacon, more bacon, avocado, avocado. That's how we're going to rock and that secret sauce that's on the ultimate patty mail video go check that video out and you can have that sauce look at that y'all top it now here comes the crucial part you can't pick that up mm -mm, you, you just can't so what yep yep you knew it skewers in there slowly take your time and make sure you get all the way to the bottom make sure you're all the way at the bottom all right now we have to cut it the skewers keep you from pressing down on the sandwich. So you would have your hands on top of both those skewers and you just work that serrated knife down. You will work it down. All right. See how the sandwich is still intact and that's what you want. You want your sandwich to be intact and look like that. Ooh wee. Just think about how much money you can save for your family at home making this versus going to whatever place to get this sandwich. I mean, they cost so much money, but I made this sandwich for about four bucks at home. Now, if you feel like there's something I miss or something you want to see, let us know so we can add it to the playlist. Y'all, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all on the next side.